Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but it's finally here. This is the Wise Smartwatch. This is the 47 millimeter. And luckily for y'all, I just got the iPhone 6 44 millimeter. So we can do a side by side comparison. Now I will be doing a full setup tutorial and review after a week. The setup tutorial I'll do later on tonight and the one week review will come out in about a week and a half. Um, so let's just get started. This is gonna be an unboxing video. So if you don't wanna see what comes in the box or how it looks compared to the Apple uh, Watch, uh, this is series six, by the way. Um, if you don't want to look at that, go ahead and skip the video. Sorry for wasting your time. So we have sleep tracking, customized screens, waterproof. Um, 1.75 color screen. It's model WW3, 1.85 case inch. It has woman's health tracking, active heart monitoring, and blood oxygen, which is really popular right now because of COVID. So let's go ahead and open it up. This took forever to get. Nice packing, okay. Let's see. So I opted not to get any fancy case or anything for it. They did have a few cases for sale. So here's the charger, does not come with a charging brick. Nope. No charging brick. It's unfortunate, but most smartwatches don't come with them anymore. It's a magnetic style. And let's go ahead and pop it out. I don't want to tear the box up too bad, but so we have our rubber band. This is um I'm not gonna lie guys. So it's got decent looking sensors. Let's see how the magnet on the charger is. Man, that's pretty good. It's got a little tab right here so you can pull out and pull out the uh, wrist straps and change them out. Glass seems okay. It's really light though. I mean Wow, this is a monster compared to the, I'd say easily double the weight. Um, even though the Wise has a little bit bigger screen. The wristband on the Apple Watch feels way better than this cheap strap that came with it. Um, let me see how it feels on my wrist. Okay, so I don't like this band already. It gets hung up pretty easy. It'd be secure though. It'll definitely be secure. Um, let me tighten it up a little more. All right, so. Let's see if it's got any juice. I don't think it does. Oh, it does. So right off the rip, you have to scan the QR code with your phone, which I'm using right now. I'm charging my normal recording phone, so I won't be able to set that up, but the button, I hate to say it guys, it just feels cheap. Of course, for 37 bucks, you really can't beat it. The proof is, the proof is gonna be, when I set it up, I'm gonna set it up on my right wrist and my Apple Watch on my left. That way I can do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two guys. But my initial reaction to this is it's just really cheap feeling. <clears throat> How is it gonna hold up the damage? Well, we might test that as well. So stay tuned guys. This is literally all you get. You get a little quick start guide. And that's about it. New device, setup. Tells you how to change screens and stuff. Now, if you're looking for a smartwatch that you can text on, this is not gonna be it, guys. You cannot respond to, especially iPhone. I don't know about Android, but I know iPhone, you cannot respond to text. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for a cheap smartwatch. This one will do basic functions for activities and stuff, but as far as 
functionality as like an Apple Watch or a, a Galaxy Watch, it's not going to be that way. So stay tuned, guys. Hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you on the next one.